Hello friends, thank you for watching this YouTube video. I wanted to make this video and tell you and show you why uh, batteries for cell phones from Batteries Plus really suck. And I'm not going to tell you they just suck, but I'm also going to show you some proof. Because, uh, so basically I wanted to tell you about this phone, um, why I bought it. It's not my primary phone, by the way. I bought it as a secondary phone. And uh, so, yeah, I bought it used off of eBay for in June of 2021. And I got a pretty good deal for it. I think I bought it for less than $60. It's a uh, Google Pixel phone, the uh, first generation, the original uh, version. So uh, what happened is uh, early last year in 2021, Google announced that uh, Google Photos and the Google Drive would no longer offer free unlimited cloud storage. And they, instead, they said that free accounts would only get 15 gigabytes of free storage. But the loophole to that was that uh, Google Pixel phones would still have unlimited free cloud storage on Photos and Drive. So I decided to buy one of these uh, Pixel phones, the original generation, because the first generation uh, stores photos at uh, uh, full resolution, whereas the Google Pixel 2s through 6s, they uh, store it at a reduced uh, resolution. Uh, they call it, I think they call it high quality storage, but there's still some compression involved. So basically I bought this in June of uh, 2021 and uh, mostly I just use it to take pictures with because of the free unlimited cloud storage on Google Photos. And uh, so yeah, I have my primary phone which I use for everything else. And I've noticed that the battery has been like going down steadily because I keep it on like all day and turn it off overnight. So in January of 2022, I ordered a brand new replacement battery on Batteries Plus and it cost me almost $80, even with the $10 off. And uh, yeah, so ordered it in January 2022 and they installed it exactly a week later. And uh, now almost three months later, I'm going to show you like screenshots of uh, buying the phone, ordering the brand new battery and a screenshot of an app that shows the battery health and uh, yeah I was expecting it to perform because I mostly just keep this on airplane mode just for taking photos about the only time I put it back on Wi-Fi is uh, when I'm letting it upload the photos to the cloud because this doesn't have a SIM card so there's no date on it. So yeah, pretty much just airplane mode all the time except for letting it upload the Google Cloud, uh, Google Photos for the unlimited cloud storage. I'd put it on Wi-Fi and then put it back on airplane mode. So of course I expected it to perform like a brand new iPhone like in terms of like performance of the battery. But uh, even right off the bat, that was not the case, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm going to show you screenshots of uh, when I bought this phone, when I ordered the battery, and uh, almost three months later, how the battery is performing, according to an app that a lot of uh, cell phone companies use to uh, gauge the battery. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, screenshots to follow. Anyways, your turn. Um, please uh, reply in the comments below uh, your stories of uh, where you bought your brand new replacement batteries, even if it wasn't from Batteries Plus, and tell me how it's going. So for the benefit of myself and others, if to help us decide if this, you know, if it's a good place to buy a brand new battery or not. And uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.